Bonjour. Mrs. Murder here. I don't know how to say that in French, but we're still in Three Pines. We're still reading Louise Perry books, and this is the one we'll be reviewing next week. Oh, yes. And this is the one we're reviewing today. A Trick of the Light. And reviewing doesn't mean I'm doing a book report. It just means that I'm showing you the book and telling you a little bit about it and hoping that you'll be intrigued or want to go out and buy it because these are, this is a fascinating series. For those of you who know what chiaroscura, chiaroscura means, you don't have to listen to this review because you know more than I do. I kind of know what it means. I've looked it up and it's still, it's, it's an artistic term of play of light and dark. Look it up and um, there are a lot of uh, artistic terms in here because we have a, an artistic murder. We have a murder of an artist at an artist's gathering and first they had a vernissage, then they had a party afterwards and uh, one of the artists is found killed in the garden at the home of the person who was being honored. So we we learn a lot of different things about art in this and one of the biggest points you get from the you can guess from the title a trick of the light because someone is criticized for having a painting that is all dark all dark grays and dark black and black and browns and you know dark greens and in the forest and but one light in play in a good place changes the whole uh, depth and perception of the meaning. And the trick of light is played throughout this book in different ways with the artist's work, with um, different descriptions, with poetry, with Ruth's poetry. Um, she, yes, with Ruth and her poetry. And um, that's all I need to say. Anyway, that's about a trick of light. So you'll remember the title and you'll remember that Inspector, Inspector Chief Inspector Gamache is still with us and he's healing. He's still getting over two books ago. And Bouvier is doing better himself after being shot. And uh, he unfortunately though is supporting himself with the pain, oh, I don't need that pen. Supporting himself with the pain pills that he's taking and uh, Gamash is challenging him on that regard because he shouldn't be taking as many, well, I remember Percocet, but anyway, different pain pills. He's supposed to only be taking one a day and he's not getting himself off of the pain pills. So he's in, still in a lot of pain. So we have, we have a, a crew trying to solve the murder with... Uh, a lot of their friends in Three Pines and we don't want to see anyone falsely accused again so we're taking it slowly and trying having a lot of meetings and have a lot of new people also investigating and checking on on all the artists histories how they were affiliated with other artists and um, one thing, one clue that was found with the, well, I'll let you find the clues when you read it. There are so many good clues and there's, it's such an intriguing mystery and so many beautiful descriptions of, of the artwork and uh, challenging the, how competitive it is because a lot of money is involved. And of course, if it's an artist that's murdered, hmm, what does that mean about her artwork? Does that mean it's going to be more valued? Of course. And so we have that going on, and um, I challenge you to read this book, be intrigued by this book, even if you haven't read the ones before. That's one thing that Louise Perry does. She gives you a description and reminds you who people are so that you can see the part of the story that she's telling and in depth more of the rest of the stories. But it, it's fascinating. It's not repetitive, but it is more and more explanatory. The more books you read, the more you understand about what life is like, what it would be like to live in this little town, and um, 
what it would like be like to live the different lives of the different characters we run into. So that's that's it for today, and I don't know what kind of farewell, so long, goodbye you like, but since we're reading in Montreal or French, a lot of French phrases are slipped into this book. We'll just say bonjour, bonjour mon ami, and come again, and hope you enjoy reading. Goodbye.